So last uh, session, we actually fought some of these corrupted beings that uh, had this goldy, flaky substance on them. And there was also a lot of corpses in the place that we fought them. They were feasting on them, seemingly. Um, we learned that this corruption... Uh, that goldy, gold flaky stuff is the source of the corruption and that we specifically should be wary of it. And then we moved to the west towards this uh, bathhouse sort of thing. I don't know what it is. Uh, and we found out that it was very much used with the military personnel a lot of racket was in there we went up we found a little cool sword then we found a corpse that was split in half and was literally just a skin shell um and we figured that there was these snake monsters continuing in our journey alongside Need are collecting as many papers as he can to learn about what happened here. Uh, and using Sasha's uh, very great scent, uh, Dection, for blood, uh, we went straight to the scent of the snake persons, monsters, whatever they are, to fight them. And here we are. Oh, also, we learned that the castle fell before the town did. So something happened in the castle. That maybe we need to figure out, maybe we don't. True. It's true. All right. Yippee. We'll be for that, but it's fine. Uh, huh? Yeah. Fucking dodgy fucking wand right there. There you go. All right. You guys have the added thing that you are going into combat. Which usually we do not end combat on uh, towards the end because it's not fun and it takes up a fair amount of time. So we start the session off this way. Let's switch this back on. So, we start our combat off with a Quinn. I assume Ali or um, Kari will control Pi. Gonna start off by uh, shooting, uh, shooting, shooting that one. Mm -hmm. It's a different name. Uh, Advantage from urban terrain. You're relishing in that. <laughs> I I absolutely am. Like I am thriving. I, You're I'm fucking relishing in that. I'm, I'm pushing my luck a little. Is it human? <laughs> it is humanoid. It is. Oh, I'm well, living my best life. Oh. I would hope so, cause uh. Well, I got. I assumed mon monstrosity, you know. That's got teeth. If that's if that if that's oh. any correlation. <laughs> oh, I'm in my favorite terrain against my favorite enemy. I am thriving. <laughs> <laughs> right, that'll be fifteen. Fifteen, do it. Okay. Follow up shot. Damn. Which one? Okay. 
And then extra attack. Wow. I'm going to hide behind Gagoon. That'll be me. Oh, wait, hang on. It won't be me. Forgot about something. Good. All right, what do you want to know? Um, what, what, what does this one do? <laughs> uh, what, what do they got? Discount Ronnie. Okay, one. That's cruel. <laughs> Two, she doesn't even have a sword. Come on. That's where the discount comes from. <laughs> You have Going abilities. Sword. You have abilities, combat, and reactions. Uh, forced. Let's go uh, combat. You have ice spike and silk spec. Let's go ice spike. There you go. It is ranged. Hmm. That's your piercing. Maybe that'll be me then. I mean, it could be blunt. It, it would actually hurt more to hit you with a blunt ice object than it would be to spike you. It would hurt more. It would hurt more. Ice hurts. Anything else? Yep, that'll be me. Right. Gagoon. Yeah, we'll start off with the uh, bonus action to the rage. I just fucking hovered over the dude, man. I forgot. <laughs> He's got the sacks and the fucking saddles on his thing. Uh, <laughs> One day, he will, he will that will be a top tier fit. He will flip the floppy forward. <laughs> um, it's terrible. Shit. I need to double check. I'm pretty sure. Mean I'm trend really setting. Up. You know, you know, you, you, you know, in hindsight, I should have moved this cigarette to the, to the, uh, plushie, because he's the one that's always calling for TPKs. Um, please tell me. Yeah. And then I'm going to target that boy with a thorn whip. Right. 24 to hit. That does it? Hell yeah. You, uh... Six piercing, and I am pulling him towards me. Ten feet, if possible. Right, and I believe it's a, uh... Is saved that, or is it just normal? Uh, it just happens if it hits. Yeah. <clears throat> really small one. What is a medium creature? Them. Yeah. Oh, I also need to update that macro because I am in fact fifth level, so it should have been two d six instead of one d. Oh, it did. Never mind. Nope, it it's... No, 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 it oh, did. It is. You I'm just, just uh, you just Hell rolled yeah. bad. <laughs> you think this character's an act? No. Buddy. Yeah, fuck it. That's fine. <laughs> there you go. Um, and then I will. Uh. I will use my. I forgot to take off sight on these. I should do that. I'm tactic tacticsing like the normal one. So there's a lot of them. These ones? Yeah. All right. You have uh honestly just combat for these. They're uh they are not uh greatly inclined. Can I learn their HP or the uh, HP or AC? Either is fine. Their HP is forty-five. All right. Thank you. And we I will always go. We always go for HP in this household because we always be hitting you. Are we gonna? Are we gonna point on the point out the uh, like twelve episodes of uh, Gagoon missing? Uh, what I meant from, <laughs> we always be hitting from now on. Yeah, yeah, now that that's gone. 
<laughs> we roll to see if they'll catch on fire. <laughs> well, they're not made of ice, so... <laughs> Uh, you are outside enough that the most you're going to set on fire is like these. Maybe the plants. The, uh... Are these plants... Hmm? No, oh, God. I was going to ask, are these plants special looking? Has Neva ever seen them before? Most of the plants are, in fact, frozen solid here. Oh, so like, they're already dead. Like, they are frozen solid. Like, they're just... Ooh, nice. Uh, the plants are. Ooh, ooh. The big, the first big fireball ever. Let's go. Huge. Hmm. Let's see. Let me. This for half damage, real quick. Team. Okay, that's one. That's two. Let's go. Actually, doesn't matter. Uh, it's two. Subtract that. Doesn't matter. Aw, oh, dang. Subtract two from that. That's still... That just beats That's it. still 15. That just... That just straight up. Okay. So... You... You and you take 29... And you take a 14. Really, it's like 14.5, but we'll round it down. There you go. Okay. You can you may also use Arcana and other things if you wish, as she is a uh, somewhat magical being if you wish. No, no, she made it. Mm, but she only took zero. Actually, her HP bar went down. Oh, no, that's because of Quinn. Yeah, she took zero. Oh, I know why. That's weird. I don't remember giving skeletons fire resistance. Question mark. Oh, no, I did. Never mind. That was something else. It's morning time. With a 20, uh, what would you like to know you you have ice spike already you have silk smack abilities and reactions better left reactions, right. reactions is this there you go no you have uh ice spike Fire, okay. This one? Okay, cool. For 14, that will miss. Okay. 14 will miss on that one, unfortunately, but... That's just how it goes. Gagoon! You're a ladies' man, right? Uh, you know, some people think so. Okay, okay, okay. Uh, it's going to throw up on you. Oh, that's a little weird. <laughs> <laughs> Give me a constitution saving throw against poison. Well, I don't do it. Yeah. 
He still takes in poison damage. That is acceptable. Uh, I will, given that Pi is not here, I will not technically what? attack them. I think I actually just... Oh. No wonder why my numb lock isn't on. <laughs> Imagine having your numb lock turned off. Yeah. Do people have that turned off? I like, must have fat fingered it because I have my other buttons. Uh, like my my other things are set to like hotkeys. So. Okay. Uh, it will do it again. Does a seventeen hit? Yeah. Okay. Give me the concept. Wait. And my AC seventy. So if meets beat, then yeah. Yes. If it, it, I, I don't. I don't remember what it was. Meets it, beats it. Wait. That's fine. Give me the con save for poison, then take six right. poison. Another, another six for poison. All right, good. Excellent. Six poison. This one is going to slither over here. Fury, fury, fury. So two of them, one of them's for my thorn whip, and the other yep. two are from taking damage. Yep, that's one. This one's going to slither over here. You'll see uh, it leave various indents as it slithers about, as it has no arms or legs. Hmm. They are basically a heavy, they are basically a giant snake. They've seen be better days. Fortunately, I can't really aim for Pi because I don't want to. Actually, she can go like right here and aim for Zyron, though. You can. Hi. Six and poisoned. No. Yep. And then it'll go again. And it'll miss. It'll land like over here. Alright. This one's good to go. This one has been had the shit beat out of it. Gonna go over here. The goon. It will bite you. As you watch as, as it's as you watch his jaw unhinge. And it'll smack the tail. That'll miss. Alright. Uh, it is Pi's turn. Who would like to uh, initiate monk mode? I have no idea how his character works. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm going to vote for... Yeah, I'm going to yeah. vote for... It's fun. fun. There's a button that says punch. You click it. Yes. <laughs> yeah, so but I don't, I don't know how their combos work. I don't think I've played Monk in yeah. like eight years. <laughs> you punch until, until it's over. First one will miss. Second one hit. Okay. For 10. Yep. And that'll hit. And it'll go down. The first one goes down. Hmm. And it will go. It's going to get like right up over here under the table. Make sure she gets a nice... Yep. Add your... Uh, what? Proficiency plus wisdom? I believe. Let's see. The goon, you did whip one of the girls, but Quinn has also uh, shot at her, and that's not cool. Oh, so, man, he deserved it. Wow. L. L. See, that's why I did that ability. So now I know what's coming. Uh huh. Cool. You're so big, Uh, mm. let's see. Zyron. 
Yes. Give me a wisdom saving throw. Oh, okay. Da -da, saving throw, wisdom. Oh, That'll do it. I'm right. close. Take half of this. Classic, take half. Mm -hmm. Classic, take half. At 13. Like five damage, Six. I think. Hmm. Hey. That'll be her turn. Sasha, it's your turn. Hmm. Uh, well, Here unfortunately, I'm a bit far away from everything, and you know what? I don't have any javelins. A bit you, of an oversight on my part. You currently have an extra... Yeah, that only gives speed. me like five to twenty extra feet, but like um, everything is like it's true. You can also use the stamina dash ability. Yeah, even even if I use that, like uh, it still won't you... be enough to get to the closest one. Uh, you have forty-five. Yeah, it would be because right, charge but... makes you dash. So if I roll, uh, I roll a d4. If I roll no, the no, four, no, 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 not run, roll. not run, not run, not run, charge. Oh, charge? I thought that was just like, uh, you just move your movement, but at the end you can like stack dice. Um, it's a dash action. Yeah. Plus an attack. Mm -hmm. Oh, all right. Well, that's different then. All right, cool. Uh, that changes a lot, actually. Mm-hmm. All right, cool. Uh, so yeah, you know what? We're gonna do a charge and bash combo. Mm. I'm going right for this gal right here. Well, sorry, hold on. I'm, go I'm gonna rage first, of course. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. All right. Now, zoom. I zoom in. Boom. All right. Huh? Um. Do charge. Make, make a single attack and then apply a bash to it. Uh, yeah, this will be a reckless one. Mm hmm. Um. 24 for 16, roll 1d6. Roll hey! Six. What? Did you give yourself a stamina point? Oh, uh, an extra stick. Because it's, uh, I charge. One moment. Cool. Uh, 27, I believe. All right. There you go. Ah, almost. Almost! Sacked it a right. lot of the heavy lifting and put them down. All right. She moves in like a torpedo and somehow the snake lady's still standing. But yeah, uh, last thing it will be tactics. Can't believe Sasha also just dove in the snow and s withered over there. Yeah, never mind. <laughs> <laughs> um, she's beautiful. Mm -mm. No, sir. <laughs> Wait, you're not into those uh, big tailed w women? Uh, no. Wow. Unbelievable. Well, hold on. Yes, if it's not only two. How <laughs> 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 about standards? Uh, yeah, we'll... That, that do be my turn. We'll, we'll, we'll go with that. <laughs> All right. Uh... First one will be on Sasha. That'll miss. Second one will be on Quinn. Oh, stop attacking Quinn! Stop! They shot first. This is self-defense. Stop! <laughs> it's so mean! You do not have to make the con check or save as you're already under it. Alright. You know, you're up. 
do I heal or do I kill steel? Hmm. You know Guiding Bolt never lands. Who said it'll be Guiding Bolt that we kill? <laughs> It'll be a fucking stone, baby. Yeah, okay. Um, unless we get a short rest soon, I don't want to heal. And if we get a short rest, just use hit dice. So, time to throw a stone mm -hmm. at this one. So, uh, Nita, ooh, ooh, hold on. Nita goes whoa. over here. Whoa, whoa, a Peace. legal move. Move the other, <laughs> move the other kobold. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 I don't want to do that. Uh, I throw stone. It's becoming who you want all the way. Uh, ten? Which one? Uh, this one. Wow, okay. As Nino hides behind this corner and like a baseball, arcs back. And then throws a quick stone. And it looks sad that it did kill. And then he will guiding bolt. Uh this one. But I'm using my free resource to do it. Boom. For fifteen. Uh no. Oh, that's not a funny rock. Hold uh... On. No, uh, they are <laughs> they are storm barb in uh, after they rest. It's a very shiny rock. They are currently only level two. There we go. Uh, but yeah, for fifteen radiant. Ooh. Which one? Uh, this one. Fifteen radiant. Mm -hmm. Hey, there it goes. Uh, oh, 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 I want a dead fix. Yeah. Uh, There's also one down there. Yeah. Uh, twenty-one on the flying bolt. What do you know? I would like to know. Uh, what what are her abilities? Oh, this one. The shriek. Okay. And that's me, Dust. Alright. Don't delete them. Don't delete them. Uh, Seymour just munches on uh, a lot of cool food. I remove them. There you go. Win. Yeah, they don't, uh, they do not level up unless it is a long rest, and they have not had one yet. Yeah, but they just go in it. You don't need fat tactics. Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, that's not a crit, never mind. I don't there you go. That. I don't know if you're intentionally muted, Siren, but sometimes you do forget to put it back in. There you go. Just making sure that I can't believe Siren hates us. What do you want to know what the 15 is you hurry and uh, uh, what do you want to know what the 15 you can ask her AC you've got uh, everything else Racy is 16. Okay. Good go. All right. Uh, um, is she 
on the table or flying? Uh, she is floating uh, about like two feet off the table. Okay. Her feet have not actually touched the ground this entire time. Okay. Would I be able to climb the table and, and slap her with with the obelisk, my, my cool sword necklace? Yes. All right. I will do that. Getting and off, I'll... getting off the table is another matter. <laughs> <laughs> All right. We are gonna reckless. 23 to hit. 11? Okay. And extra attack. It will be a miss. And then... Uh, we will bonus action bite. Okay. Oh my. I know, Nine right? Four. Nine? Well, I'm glad that works. I put zero nine. Alright. And I will end my turn. It's probably a good thing you're wearing sandals because that table's ice. Hell, <laughs> see, I knew, see, I knew I, I put socks on for a reason. Alright, Allie. Wow. There you go. It actually hit. Classic firebolt. It hits, it does, it hits, it does a little damage, it misses, it does a lot of damage. <laughs> okay. That will do it. As she goes down, shattering into ice. Yeah, Sasha's just like cheering, she's just like, yeah, go get him! Well, it was a monster made of ice, so. Hmm? For 13 and 11. That's 13, and. That will do it! Actually, I'm pretty sure that was the exact amount. By the way, Ruby did. As of right now, no. Hope not. I'm out of rages. <laughs> the dilemma. <laughs> the dilemma. Rages be gone, yo. That works. No, but they are done. You are, but you guys are outside as you feel the snow and wind howl at you. As you're on the second floor of the building on the outside, you can, st as you guys uh, stand here on the second floor, you do get do get more of a glimpse of the town itself. As I remember which one it is, because I do have two things going. Not that one. Not that one. You guys are here. So you guys see uh, from where you're standing, if I reorient it just like slightly, uh, you see an open kind of like plaza area. You see 
I believe that is the whorehouse. Yes. Like functioning? I, they're kind of... No. Okay. Not right now. It's not functioning. <laughs> Are we sure about that? Oh Should my god. Like, <laughs> now, do you mean whorehouse as in... Screaming inside. Let's go. It's a brothel. Do you... It's a brothel. Yeah. Oh, uh, oh. So okay. So like prostitution and not like just a meta like location where they're playing like the exact game we're playing. <laughs> yes. Yes. Uh. To both. Whoa. <laughs> I'm so meta, even this. <laughs> I will. No. It is a. It's brothel. Safely. I will safely go from the table to the bench and then to the bench to the floor so I don't slip and fall. <laughs> yes. Uh, you will notice that after combat is gone, uh, Goon, you do see a, another one of the fire pits here that looks like they had used it to keep warm at night. Uh, he will go over, and unless anyone stops him, he'll do the same thing and light it as he okay. takes the one inside. You uh, you see that there is Kendall and stuff already in there, and you simply just have to uh, give it a little, give it a little torch. But you do see that a lot of the flowers, uh, that like the tables, the flowers, a lot of the uh, walls and everything do have a thick layer of snow and ice from the constant barrage. The flowers look savable if they were warmed up, but given oh. the current uh, given the current climate, if you warm them up, they probably will die. Um, can can Nidar just like grab them? Okay, first of all, what type of flowers are they? Are they valuable, or can can they be harvested for regions or anything? They on uh, a good portion of them just look like display flowers. So you see like vibrant purple ones or uh, like very vibrant blues and pinks. Most of them look like they are just display purposes only. Mm. They're they're still alive. They're just they don't really do a whole lot except look pretty. Like has them. Nidar has Nidar ever seen them before? Not on the island, no. Well, this will be a hit on the island if Nidar gets a farm or something and starts farming flowers. Um, he'll uproot them carefully. Okay. Still with their ice and whatnot and put them in, their, in his bag of holding. Okay. You like a roll for me? Uh, give me... Are you doing it like you're trying to, like, safely uproot them, or are you doing it in a quick manner? Um... Given the safely unless state. the party... Safely unless the party rushes, Nidar. Okay. Give me a... Nature? Okay. Uh, I'm gonna guidance myself. I'd say I've had someone ever tried to unroot a plant, basically, but... Yeah. 18, okay. Uh, which of them are you trying to take? Um, the pretty purple ones. Okay. And the pretty blue ones. Okay. You'll get... If you're putting them in your bag of holding, you will get... A total of six. Yeah, I'm gonna say three each. Mm-hmm. Three of each. Given that they are currently frozen, they are a little bit smaller, so the weight will be reduced a little bit. But they are brittle. I think bags of holding are very sp safe storage, right, guys? Uh, yeah. <laughs> Who? I have no idea what you're talking about. 
Who uh who wants to tell him you just have to stab a bag of holding and it'll break? Don't do that. <laughs> <please>. <laughs> uh once Nidra is done with that, uh he'll say We still have a section of this place that we didn't fully explore. Do we want to go to it, or do we want to explore another part of uh, the village? Let's see, um, hmm. so I know we saw like signs of like some kind of like monster like scratching and like ravaging around. Uh, I'm I'm guessing like that was just like the snake signs of the snake woman, right? Or is it? Like... Yes. Uh, the uh the signs you saw of like the indents in the uh. Tatami floors and stuff were all from the weight of them. It kind of sl slowing about, yeah. Alright. Uh, I mean, all the signs of, like, monsters around here were just, like, these snake people. Like, I'm not sure if there's, like, any other, like, around here, so I guess we could just, like, take our time to explore, but still, there's, like, no one stuff, you know? Well, give us a chance to warm back up, then. Yeah, yeah. Hey, wait, uh, what happened uh, to the food here? I, I will light this at, at that time with my tinder boxy. That's fine. Make you... Cozy. You guys will feel a bit of a chill, but it'll warm up just a little bit to where you don't have to worry about hypothermia. The kobolds are thriving now. <laughs> that's, that's a lot better, isn't it? It, it really is, thank you. Yeah. yeah. Isn't there, like, food here? Uh, that was for Yeah, yeah. It, that was, Not uh... Your food. Yeah, you know. Uh, that was fake food that we throw down for Seymour because he's not in combat. Aww. Yeah. Alright. Sasha ignores. So are we, just, are, are, so just, are we just like going around here, or what's what's the plan? I mean, where else do we go? You know. I I'd like to explore the last section up here. Yeah, there's like that plaza place too we saw, right? I guess we could try that next. Yeah. Plaza. Yeah. So shall, shall I just point out towards like the <laughs> no more warm. opening? Kind of, <laughs> like balcony. <laughs> Good point. I think he'll go back in and start walking around. Checking those corners. Nick, check all the corners. You never know. <laughs> Lays on the bench, peeks around the corner. <laughs> <laughs> I look safe. Let's get down. The enemy yeah. snapper. <laughs> Alright. Nidar. In that one, all you find is a pair of a small set of armor used by the uh, what looks like a foot soldier. It's not a lot of armor. It covers probably about the body, maybe around the hips, and the knees. What sort of armor would you say it is? It's light armor. Or just like... Well, it's... it's It looks like light armor. Yeah. Only that doesn't know much about smithing and doesn't know that Quinn knows about smithing. It's just like... Eh. No, that Quinn knows about smithing. You were there when I, was, <laughs> I examined stuff with smiths. Um, actually, uh, that's that was uh, during text RP, which uh, not bringing this information in. Uh, <laughs> I will. We were not both. God. <laughs> we, we both okay, looked fine, at the rock, fine. acknowledged that it was magical, and then we both went to Alley. You I guys... don't remember. I don't. It's been a while. <laughs> That was Duck last Squin. session. <laughs> Duck Squin on her clothes. There's there's some armor in that room. Points. 
And while Quinn checks that out, opens this one, looks in. Alright. Nidak. Yes. You walk into the other room as Quinn I assume you like pick up the armor and you're like feeling it and everything. Yeah, like giving that a good once over. Okay. When you pick it up, you do feel it's very lightweight. It's it doesn't look like it's, you know, it's going to take a big hit. It at most it's probably going to help reduce some slashing, but if hit with like heavy piercing, it's uh, it, it, ain't, it ain't stopping shit. Mm-hmm. It's also very very thin. But it is light armor. Cool. We'll uh, take it and pop it in the bag of holding. Okay. Nidar, inside there, you find a room that has been untouched. Looks in the cabinets. There's towels. Clean towels. Actual clean towels. This room has been untouched. There is nobody in it. You know, that would be useful once Nidar uh, makes his uh, Vardo a proper home. Takes the towels. Cleric, by the way. Mm-hmm. This is crazy. <laughs> I evil. Like, my stealing is justified. Neither <laughs> is not stealing. It's like, ooh. You loot the plants that you're looting the towels. Unbelievable. This, this, not, there's no one alive here anymore. It would be a disservice to the dead to let all of these things to go to waste. <laughs> Stop, mm. stop moral dilemming me. How many towels yeah. are there? It's like, there's, uh, there's probably about two or three. They're like like the big towels. They're like kind of the like big fluffy towels. All right. Uh, yeah. I'm going to say negligible weight, right? It's about 0.5 pound, I think. Okay. <laughs> Maybe like we'll do, we'll do point. <laughs> that, that is some fucking heavy towel, probably. I actually don't know. Never towels. weighted a towel. <laughs> Depends uh, on if you weigh it before or after. Yeah. Is there anything here? Uh, inside of those, you find... Uh, you do see, like, what lo- looks like a pad of paper. Maybe, like, if someone wanted to write down, like, information or anything. Things like that. Alright. Uh, Ali would probably like that. Um, I just had a funny thought. Mm-hmm. So these are these beds or are they mattresses on the ground? They are mattresses so on weird. the ground. Okay. A pad of paper, yes. I'm gonna... <laughs> Can Nina roll the pad on the ground and put it into his bag of holding, or is it too big? Like a fucking bed. What? Hey, I'm taking this shit to the Vardo. I need to furnish it, yo. <laughs> oh my god. The... By the end of this game, Nina is gonna take the floor out of a building and be like, I want the tatami mat floor, damn it. Wait, wait oh, till you hear. I'm gonna take these two. <laughs> two. What's this, by the way? Is this like a chair and this is a table? It's a small. Oh. It's a backless stool. Okay. Hey, gotta do it for the Vardo. Gotta furnish somehow. Oh my guys. god. <laughs> guys, gotta furnish somehow. So. Uh, you just all stand outside and watch Nidar in his in his very small form try to roll this giant mattress bed. <laughs> Give me a strength check for that uh, the new alarms there. With yeah, I've the rolled pa- before. It's hard as hell. With the power of Axel, I shall achieve this feat. That one. <laughs> He's about to roll a two. <laughs> With the power of Axel, this feat shall be achieved. <laughs> Holy shit, it is getting achieved, boys. 
I can't believe guidance doesn't work in this room. Unbelievable. <laughs> 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 Axel, <laughs> Axel thinks that's cheating and using guidance for such a menial labor. <laughs> Guys, if Axel did not want me to furnish my bardo, he would not let his guidance go through. All right, with a with an eighteen, you do manage to roll it up. Now the question is, how you get into the back? Um, he's gonna open the back from the bottom and start like going at it like a snake would with its prey. So er, everyone else can just kind of walk around the building while Nidor tries to yeah. uh, tries to yeah, do Yeah, Nidor is just gonna um, is just gonna yeah. fucking gather furniture for the bard, guys. You guys can... not hearing not hearing any like kobold squeaks. I guess I I guess I'll just go over here. <laughs> Checks this room out. All right, inside of that one, you find uh, that unlike the other rooms, this one is more uh, spacious. You can also see uh, various of the windows do lead outside or show outside to the areas. Outs outside of that, the room has seen some damage. Uh, there's a you can see there was at some form at least some kind of kerfluffle. So there is some blood. Oh. Nips the blood to see its or where it, uh, its origin is from. These are humanoid. So they are either either soldiers that were stationed here, or. They were people that were staying here that were civilians. Does the blood lead into this room? It actually leads out. Ah, well, I mean, she's going to check anyway. Mm -hmm. Quick peek. They were attacking the bed. Well, that sucks. Are, uh, are there, like, corpses there or no? There are cor There are not corpses anymore. Oh. Given what you guys know so far, they probably also walked off. <laughs> or slithered away. Yeah, you know, you, you just walked it off. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just take a salt. Uh, I, I lost, like, I lost, like, a gallon of blood. Nah, just walk it off. Yeah, they're, uh, they're dead. Just, uh, walking dead. The walking dead? They're fine. You're fine. All right. Well, I guess if nothing like stands out, she'll just. I'll, uh, the most you find is like leftover clothes that they had, mm -hmm. but like outside of that, it doesn't seem like they had a whole lot. All right. Unless you uh, want some type of uh, monos or anything. Up to you. I, yeah, I think I already snagged like uh, a kimono flavored armored clothing. You did. I have a yeah. Pit. So like with, with have... that, she's quite uh, satisfied in terms of uh, clothes shopping. So she, <laughs> she's good. I have a picture for that. I just didn't grab it last time. Just like a kimono, but like right underneath is just chainmail. It's it's. Lays the plates. It's fine. Yeah. And she just comes out. She's just like, yeah, nothing really in there. Just uh, people got got attacked. Yeah. And then they walked, but like not alive. <laughs> ah. Hi, bye. Ah. Hi. Uh, what do you what do you mean people people are there dead people in there so like it looks like there are people that are attacked in the bed they lost a lot of blood but like 
it looks like after losing all that blood, they started walking. So like, they're probably dead, but like, walking. Oh, so you sure they're not, I mean, if they're walking, they're probably fine then, right? Oh yeah. You know what they say, just walk it off, right? I mean, I mean what else would it be? Oh yeah, I'm dead. Uh, yeah, that, I, that's a thing, I guess. Isn't that like a no-no here, though? Is it? I'm but, new to these parts. Yeah, I, th I think you can get arrested for that. I don't know, I don't really mess with most undead, because, like, I think they're... Well, no. I, I gotta, I gotta remind myself that no, Sasha's not a cannibal. She's not gonna be like, yeah, they taste gross. It's like, no, not in this setting. Yeah, <laughs> no, not in any setting. What do you mean? <laughs> <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Some mild cannibalism. As I reinstall map tools. Why are you reinstalling it? Because I have to uninstall it to downgrade. Anyway, uh... You can, you can just have separate folders with different... Mm, I can't for some reason. Never works. Huh. Oh yeah, I like... <laughs> because I was on the waiting list for that mission, I was like pinged being like, You have a game in 12 minutes! I'm like, wait, what? Fuck! What? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the, the downside to the bot is that it just pings everyone. <laughs> so it actually was, pings people like, to turn shit off. Just like, oh yeah. shit, I can't make it. Nah. Nah. Nope, I will, uh, I will always ping you when the game is up and good. <laughs> As for Concluding. Quinn... Concluding what she saw, she'll just suggest the party moves on with wherever we gonna go. As for Quinn, when you w walk into here, you actually do see that that's like the um, uh, like family suite. You can see like there are multiple rooms here. Uh, you can see that, like the other places, you you see more sandals. As for the rest, like every other room you've seen so far, this one has also suffered being attacked. Still no still no bodies, but there is remits of attacks on the walls and the floor, blood trails and the such. There's even a hand. And doesn't like being here alone. She'll grab a car. <laughs> <and she'll leave. laughs> I, uh, I don't like being in this room where people died. Guys? Yeah, guys, I'm kind of alone in the bloodshed room. I'm the ambush predator. I don't like being ambushed. <laughs> Meanwhile, me does just stealing a cl completely clean room. <laughs> Sorry, borrowing. Repurpose. Not serious. It's not theft. It's not. I, mm -mm. I'm not sure I agree with that. I'm uh, repurposing. <laughs> it, it's the reallocation of resources. Yeah, guys. That's just a fancy Come way of saying stealing. No. Not that Aurora cares, mind you, but you know. Also, this fucking bed is way too big for Nita, I just fucking imagined. <laughs> I mean... This, this will be Nita on them. <laughs> that is not a bad thing. It is no. It's not, no. life. Yeah, super thriving. Mm -hmm. <laughs> just, there you go. Just endless bed sheets, as far as yep. the eye can see. Pi, they uh, fought. Uh, they fought those enemies. They did take some damage, but they've explored the other side so far. Nice. Yep, that's all you missed. And apparently, Gagoon becoming a weeb. Gekun Not yet. Has been a weeb. I'm Not yet. I'm looking at his fit right now. He's gonna get dripped out in the kimono soon, dude. No, no, I'm not. I'm never replacing the suit. Yeah, no. It's gotta be formal. Yeah. 
The sandals need to be those wooden sandals. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> A little bit. And it's just, just loudly making, like, loud wooden talk noises, like, with each, with each step. <laughs> Minus one step. Yeah, kind of. Hold on. Guys? <laughs> Guys? What? <laughs> Nothing. Oh, God. <laughs> all right, all right. Uh, I, I was getting scared there a little. <laughs> hey, what's all the speech there. bubbles? I'm taking them. These are mine. I'm, it's the uh, sticky uh, notes he's putting uh, on stuff to claim it. <laughs> <laughs> Just so I don't take from your guys' time. <laughs> also, what did we, uh... What did we learn about those things? Those are the things that popped out of the uh, split body carcasses you found. Ah. And they were the creatures that were making all the scratches and mm -hmm. stuff throughout the house. I see. At least so far. So all the, like, in... That you found in the snow and on the on the floors were from them, as they were slipping about. I nod. Oh wait, do I have a spare po spare one? I didn't even I didn't even read that till now. Spare what? Spare what? A spare pair of uh, sandals for you. Oh. In this case, the ones you have get dirty. Oh, yeah, thank you. Didn't people die in this room? Yes. There's a hand on the floor. You are giving a good dead man sandals. And you're stealing a dead man's bed table. No, <laughs> no nobody used these. These were clean, therefore, you know, that not That doesn't not mean that the owner, original owner wasn't dead. Um. <laughs> don't choose a logic. Either it's okay for you to steal it because no, the owner's not. dead, or it's oh a dead man's God. thing, and you guys shouldn't that, steal it. Guys, that's... Fucking... <laughs> yeah, choose a logic. Nidar is not seeing any problem with taking these stuff since the people are dead. He wished they weren't dead, but you know. They're dead. It is what it is. Yeah, they're dead. They're dead. And he goes back yeah. to stealing. It, Nidar is just taking too, too much time on this nightstand. It's too big. If you want to give another strength check, you can. Oh. And he didn't take a lot of time on the fucking bed? Mm, no, I did probably. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> uh, do I need to? Do I actually need to strength check this nightstand? Axel, guide me, man. <laughs> oh my God. Okay. I'm taking Go ahead. everything here, Blackheart, except for the fucking dresser because I can't take that. Okay. I am gonna go take the lantern though in the other room. Unless the other room was bloodied up, in which case I won't. Uh, athletics. Is that is that where we're drawing the line? It's there's blood on it. Um. Yeah. Alrighty then. I don't have I don't have prestigiation. And I'm not gonna go ask Ali to be like, Ali, I want this for my part. Can you clean it, please? <laughs> That would be kind of cringe. Yeah, it yeah. would be. Mm. All right, with a thirteen, you do. Uh, you can lift it, and you can slowly put it in the bag as you uh, maneuver the best way you can to fit it into the bag. Mm. Uh oh, how much weight is that bed? Mattress. You know, a bed's like two pounds or something. And Five blanket pounds? and stuff. It's a quick. Bed. Usually a bedroll is like 10 pounds, so no way. Bedroll is 5 pounds, actually. With a blanket, it's uh, 3 pounds, so 8. And... There's no pillows! No, there is no pillows. 
pillars not a pillow? No. Pillows are for winners. What? My fucking pillow! But there's no pillow there. It's just the bad and the sheep. Alright, well, uh, how much is the night's in and share? A cabinet? What about five pounds each. Okay. Nice things aren't, aren't exactly heavy, heavy. Yeah. Uh, and then... Well, I guess Nina will need to go buy a pillow later or something. Nina will come back. So, uh, find anything? Uh, no. It's like more blood stains and stuff. More of the snake creatures? I think, but like... Mostly signs of like undead stuff, you know? Undead? Uh, neither I will think... Were the snake creatures, did they strike him as undead? No, they were striked as mutated. I wouldn't say the snake creatures were undead. Oh, what about uh, that, uh, uh... Sorry, uh... Like, the, the blood was just, uh, contained within the room, right? There wasn't, like, bloody footprints no, of, like, wherever the... they walked to. Most of it, like, got to about, like, here to the door after that. It's just, like, it's it was either dried or by that time it was already gone. Mm. Uh, could the flying bolt creature thing strike me as undead? No, they also were mutated. Okay, you know what I'm saying? I don't think we've seen any undead yet. So that's the... I wonder if the corpses rise and then went elsewhere. Hmm. I wonder, uh... I'm trying to think. I think Quinnin had the thing where I could, like, do something with blood. You sniff it, and then you know where it is. Yeah, they have advantage on perception checks to locate a creature or source of blood by smell in or out of water. So I guess I'll, like, try to just track to see, like, which way the undead bloodstains probably went, if I may. Okay. Nice. 17. Alright. Most of the stains, uh, as you follow them, do lead outside. So, uh, almost every track and every everything you guys have seen, seen so far they all lead they all kind of lead back outside whether through them jumping through the walls or something or going out through the windows or the front door almost all of them all lead back outside like they're going somewhere else all right yeah as she's just like sniffing around she'll just be like oh, I, I i think they all went outside like they didn't stick around in here in this like big house they probably went in, like, some other building, or something. You guys wanna, like, check it out? Yeah? I, I don't see why we wouldn't, really. Assuming everyone's, like, done looting in here, I guess she'll, like, try to, like, lead the party to where she sniffs them. Imagine oh, yeah, we'll, we'll call you schnauzer. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Leave it to me. Okay, are we are you gonna go or Yeah, oh I'm just <laughs> gonna... which DM please guide me. Which way am I supposed to go? <laughs> you can go back down this way and pop out uh here. 
Or you can go back this way and go down the middle and just go straight outside. It is up to you. Uh, I mean, the stairs are right here. Let's just... Yeah. Okay. Down the stairs we go, I guess. Terrible. Whoosh. I fucking hate the stairs. And then, and then teleport way over here. Wow, you, you teleported into <laughs> nothingness. You mean nothingness? Yeah, insert... Going downstairs noise from video games. A clunk, click, clunk. You've hit the loading it's screen as you go down the stairs. What the fuck? <laughs> What's the tip? What's the tip, Blackheart? I was promised there was no loading screens in this game. Damn you, Bethesda. <laughs> uh, the tip is if you have low weight, you run faster. Holy shit, that's, that's so not true. Real. That's not no, true that's, at all. That's real. But it's not because I I have I have more weight than than Nidar, and I'm way faster than he is. Mm. We're not as fast right now. All oh, right. Also, the game you have auto 50 saves. Speed of movement speed. Yeah. No, there's shenanigans. <laughs> oh. Plus Wait, we still, do we still have the plus five? Yeah. It oh, then not. I have fifty-five. Yeah, it didn't go <laughs> away it. yet. And I am still faster than you are. <laughs> uh, I have cheating. base fifty, my dude. Mm, you're cheating. Stop cheating. Anyway. I guess we just head straight outside unless something like changed. Nope. I'm gonna let you guys guys wanna explore the spa area in the kitchen. You're good. Guys, this Alrighty. is a kitchen. I can't believe we're not going to the kitchen. Why would we need to go to the kitchen? Did we not? Is this not the kitchen? Like we no. went there. I don't think we went th to the kitchen at all. No, the that over here. No, that is the bar area. The Kitchen and like the supply stuff is over here. We missed the sauna. Um, that's a kitchen oh. here too, though, right? That's not real. Okay, no, I guess. That's the bar kitchen. That's for bar food, not real food. Oh, you're bar you're so right. Dipshit, what are you talking about? <laughs> I got a keg of booze. I think I've uh, I got what I came for. You you are truly the winner. Mm -hmm. Hell yeah! All right. But spa. The spa would feel good. Alright. Sasha. As we'll move you get we'll uh, grab you guys real quick. And we will Oh god, you're dead. Oh no. Uh, uh I simply undie. Alright. So we'll put you guys right here. So you watch as you leave the place and you start tracking it through the snow. Even if it is covered up, you do get a, a faint scent enough to follow it. You guys can see it leads up to, up into here. It can it continues throughout the city as it goes further north up to here. But as you walk around it doesn't just start from here. It, you can see it all trail up to here from all o over the city. Multiple sources converging, you say? Yes. Well, the, Guys, the, the, the scent of blood does. Alright, uh, I mean, yeah, Sasha just, like, follows the path to where, like, all the all the walkers are going, unless, like, someone, like, stops her to, like, look at something else. It's up to you. You guys can still explore the, uh, public area. You can explore the brothel. Up I don't think we need to go to the brothel. I'm gonna be honest with you. I don't think that's necessary. Listen. Okay, hear me out. Hear me out, right? No. No, you need... Service industry people are some of the most important people for information gathering 
Because think of all, They're all of the dead. information that... But we don't... Maybe they had journals. Pillow talk is a thing. People They're get very whores. comfortable. They don't People, get, wow. People get very comfortable. Information is power, baby. <laughs> wow. Just immediately, they're whores. Filthy oh, whores. Don't know. <laughs> Definition, if they, if they weren't asked at a brothel that way, they're a whore. That's how yeah. it works. Jesus. Yeah, I, I, I'm sure there's plenty of uh, post-coitus notes. My god. <laughs> the, what do you want me to say? The vitriol that left you on that one, god. <laughs> I mean, you could split the party. No. No. <laughs> I don't think we will. Nah. All right. Um, we head to the whorehouse just so we can warm off until we get to the upper area. Easy peasy. Okay. Does everyone agree on that? Because again, you guys are walking out in blizzard. Yeah, I think like Gagan is the only one that's like. Affected by the cold? Uh, the, the, the two kobolds are probably too. Yeah. Well, actually, Quinn is doing fine because she has double insulation. I. I <laughs> it was just because I was next to a fire. Mm -hmm. I'm no longer next to that fire. Oh, yeah, yeah no, then the kobolds, the two kobolds are. Uh, suffering. Suffering. Yeah. Even though we have insulation, we do not. Which is we, we still have disadvantage on stuff. How dare you be cold blooded? You know, right? Yeah, well, maybe Wait. if you gave the kobolds a bunch of hugs and kept them warm, we wouldn't have to worry about that. But Why would warm. I want to hug you, though? Shit, I'm cold-blooded, too. <laughs> Shit. That's I... why we're not getting hugs and cuddles. Wait. I don't care about so being like cold-blooded. I can fly. I'm this party that Aurora's going to be hugging. Black out the way. Black out the way you said that's all I like. <laughs> I don't want to hug you. <laughs> no, I'm gonna, cause I was like, wait, snake people are cold blooded. I'm a snake person, yeah. right? That's right. I'm yeah. I'm cold blooded, <laughs> but I can see infrared, so that's cool. Can't believe you aren't gonna hug your children. No, cause you're cold blooded. It's not even children. I mean, your pet. Wow. Are bad. Let's be honest. All right, pretty much. But, okay, here's what we need to do. We need to find a uh, All right. civilian. Just for the purposes of hugging the cold. So, oh my fucking god. Seconded. To no, help. We don't need to hire a civilian. We, you, you do not need a. <laughs> oh, I am. Fucking. There we go. So, uh, you guys travel following Sasha. So you guys get to here. You you can see as you guys kind of like. You're being slow and cautious because because you. Do you know the place is covered? You can see in the plaza, and I'll just give like a quick little look down as you see it. You do see this. You can see there are several of the undeads, or not undeads, but like mutated creatures from the people that are kind of wandering about. You can see the damaged houses in the area where they're just kind of roaming around attacking the bodies that are dead. So you do see this horror happening. You can also see several bodies that have been dismembered or bitten or kind of cut in half and everything. Uh, that's what you go by as you just kind of like meander your way back up. To avoid being seen. Immersion. Oh. Hmm. It had more bodies. I think more, uh, more impactful, but yeah. You get the point. Dead. You get. And as you, uh, <clears throat> do that, you make your way going through various houses where you see there is damage. Uh, from the ice spikes and the attacks and the overall just shitty state of the place. And you make your way to the Geisha house. 
which you which you can see as you as you're like entering kind of like right here as you're crossing the, over the bridge you can see several of the buildings look like they are more businesses so you can see like the geisha house here you can see like a tea house and uh, other things all here so when did dolder become fucking like fantasy japan it mm, didn't this is not dolder the rift did yeah this is a rift it ain't, it ain't dolder <laughs> We, we prayed at the Buddha statue, and the the bell brought us here. Yeah, that's a Sekiro reference. If you didn't catch it. Oh no, I'm I'm well aware. Oh, I need to like do that. I need to do this. There we go. I need to stream more Sekiro. I'll we'll place you I down. Need no I need to no hit that game because I'm yeah. masochist. And we'll place you guys down here. As Very you... good game. I like Sekiro. Me too. There you go. And this. No, oh, no. You guys are uh, right here. There you go. There we go. You stand outside of the brothel. More immersion. All right, we entered the brothel to get warm, but only to get warm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's yeah. why. That's that's what most people do when they go to enter brothels. <laughs> mm, not that kind of worm. <laughs> I don't think you. Never mind. We're not. We're not going there. It need not be said. Yeah. yeah. There you go. Immersion. Wow. Opens the lid. I'm so fucking okay. immersed right now. <laughs> Inside, you guys do find the. We'll say checking area quote unquote inside does have a bit of warmth as you guys step in out of the cold as the wind and snow blow across the area where's the cash register they don't have one or i guess the the D, &D equivalent of the thing uh they don't have one it is all paid. It is all paid to the person that is usually here. Uh, there is no longer a person currently here. <laughs> usually, it's the it's the owner of the establishment that's sitting right here. Yeah, yeah. The Sasha just like looking around and like trying to find the thing or where the, like the money storage is, and she's just like, "Did did they work for free? Nah, that's impossible." Why why are you looking over there for it? Why not behind the counter? Oh, you know, because maybe too obvious I just or something. Off the table over it. Let's go. What's wrong with her? Try to look for money. Oh, why would there be money behind the on the counter? No. Why would the money not be behind the counter if you can't? Well, you know how these places work. I just know that they like have like a lot of cash in there. You know. Uh, I am not too familiar with how these places work. Eh, I'm only familiar because I've known a couple of people who've worked in them. Not, not good. Usually. I mean, we can like, like look a, around like, while we warm up. Is this like a pay-as-you-go thing, or like pay-to-enter? Uh, usually you, you come in and you, uh, pay after selecting the person you wish to spend time with. We want to put it politely. Why would you pay for a friend? God damn it! I was thinking. About God damn going it! That route too. At some because point, you're not like, paying for a friend, you're paying for sex. Usually, at least. <laughs> the look of disgust oh, blasters yeah. Nidar's face. Huh? Oh. Did Did you not know what this is? No. No. Uh, like a nice place, well, well, I don't want to stay here for long. Nidar goes up here and sits down. Before you like... uh, do go through the door, Sasha, you do find on the other side of the cashier's uh, table, what? you do see that there is a couple small little things of gold that have been 
left that I didn't grab. So you got about 10, 15 pieces of gold. I'll take it. You also find a ledger that states, uh, has a list of names of the various people that did work here, as well as, or I should say, it has the names of all the people that work here, and they're all on one, and like, each person has their own page. So you see, like, uh, insert name here, and then the various people that paid for that service on that page. And for how long? Was there a price? It ranges from, like, like 10 gold for, like, uh, the comfort package, which... Very asking the wrong questions. The question you should have asked is who spent the least amount of time here? It who, paid, who had the least amount of time paid? Basically, it ranges from like ten gold to like oh they were here just to like have comfort to uh, like a hundred and fifty plus gold of uh, they did things. For a hundred fifty plus gold, they're probably doing a bit more than things. Yeah, they did things and stuff. And, uh, kinks. There you go. Mm. What's the most expensive kink? Like a thousand <laughs> gold? Ask, no. Do not answer that. Do not answer that. Like a thousand <laughs> gold? And that's like, as you keep scrolling through it, like, there's several people that paid a thousand gold plus, and it's like, oh. 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 Hand holding. Fingers locked. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm -hmm. Anyway, but, yeah. she just kind of, like, looks at the book all confused, not recognizing, like, most of the stuff that's, like, <laughs> listing. <laughs> Fuck, yes. That is generally how that goes, except for the 10 gold package. Yeah, she's just like, I don't really know any of these names. I... I don't know, just boring stuff, business stuff. And she just kind of tosses it here. Yeah, she's still, like, pocketing, like, the 15 gold or whatever she found. Yeah, there might be more gold inside. Might as well check it out while we, like, warm up. Uh, she, I, I guess she, like, sees the brazier here. Hey, look! You can light that up, right? Yes, you can. You you do f find yourself outside here, but there is enough wallage that you do get some reprieve from the cold. I just like to imagine, like, Gadoon reaching for his tinderbox again, and then... I was yeah. just like... <laughs> Here, I'll... Wait, you could always do that? <laughs> Give you one better. There you go. Yo, it's extra lit now. It used to be lit, now it's extra. Since, like, we're already feeling, like, respite from the cold, so she just, like, looks at the party to see, like, if they want to, like, go further in or just chill here. And we'll sort of shrug. Good to go or not. It is up to you whether or not you guys want to just wait out a little bit to rest. Or you can find a larger place in here while you're exploring to... Maybe see if you can find a way to rest longer, given your current predicament. You, you un, unlike the last rift you were in, you do not run. You are currently not running the risk of oh god, you're gonna die in a fire. You do have time. Are we not feeling funny mm. the longer this goes on? No, that was 
that was that was the only that was the the only reason that one was that way was because that was a different one. All riffs are different. Okay, I was under the impression that this one would be under the same basically. No, all riffs are vastly different because they are all dependent on what is trying to cause problems. Hmm. Okay. So, you guys may walk around, or you can choose to rest here. It is up to you. Hmm. As there is plans for both, and so you don't have to worry. Hmm. Well, I have no need to rest, mm -hmm. honestly. Yeah. <laughs> Like I don't think we I don't I don't think we can do like a long rest just so I can get rages back, but if we only can like afford a short rest then that's not really gonna benefit me much. Uh why don't we just like a... Maybe take a peek ahead. <laughs> he hit the wrong button Damn. again. Wow. Why don't we uh, <laughs> take, take a look and see what we see, everyone? Can't believe a god <laughs> showed up. Yeah. <laughs> it was okay. inside him the whole time. <laughs> he he's just loudly thinks to himself. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, uh... Sasha realizes that she could probably use some javelins, so she, you know what? She's on the prowl for some javelins. Uh, <laughs> the, there'll definitely be some in here, right? I don't know. Mm. Why would there be? Mm. Yeah, that's the joke. There javelins. Be. There, there shouldn't, but who knows? No, you're thinking, Zyron, you're thinking swords. Hmm. I mean, only a little bit. Could have both. <laughs> there are so many jokes, but I'm going to refrain. <laughs> what you do, uh, what you guys do notice is as you do walk in, the area is kind of sectioned out, like almost like there's like <clears throat> more like party ones to more. Uh, single ones. There's also uh, you can see several rooms. This does have an, like a whole company's package of like there's food, there's drink. You can stay here even if you aren't doing the deed. It's just slightly more expensive. About like 50 gold. But there's no one here running the establishment so it's free! Hooray! Free, free Hooray. food! Where is it? it? It's cause they're all dead. Only slightly. Only slightly. Sli how do, how are they only slightly dead? Well, if they're still up and walking, they're still alive by a technical term. They're undead. That is not how that works, Blackheart. You are wrong. <laughs> all right. Sasha chooses this way. Okay. I guess that's the way we're going. What be in here? As you as you can see as the there there is at one point had been doors here and they slide in. As you walk up you can see a little area to like put your shoes. You can see an area to like warm up over here as well as kind of like cl clean up or like if you've been covered in dirt as well as the secondary doors. As you enter the party area, or I guess lounge area. You don't actually have to take your shoes off. You're yeah, whatever. You're good. <laughs> Etiquette being is not enforced here. Yeah, not right now. It's not. No, but yeah, we're uh, for a lot of good reason. The party 
party don't start till I walk in. Awesome. As Sasha walks in. I didn't realize she became a... Kesha? A Beverly Hills chick. Well, I, I just said that sentence because I was told this room was the party room. <laughs> <laughs> it's too late for her. She's already lost. Her hair's turning blonde as we speak. <laughs> Why do all my female characters become valley girls? God damn it! <laughs> well, it, the valley girl was in you all along. It's yeah. You, you watch as Sasha opens the door. On the table is one pumpkin spice latte. Only one. No. <laughs> no. You walk in as the door's shut. You do feel warmer in here because it is more closed off. You can see uh, there has been uh, attacks in here. So you can see like, the pillars are kind of thrown about. The table is damaged. Uh, the The area itself is kind of a mess. But you can also see there is a door here, a door here, and a door here. I know that's an instrument, but it really looks like a TV with a DVD player. It does. <laughs> <laughs> like, yo, they got Xbox. That's Boy, not a thing. Kind of that's what they were doing in here, playing Xbox. <laughs> LAN party is on Halo. <laughs> That'd be a great service, though. Um, do we want to start like we're Sasha? Do you want to start in that room first, or do you want to start like on one of the other rooms? Uh, like, can you smell here. anything? Can you smell anything? Is the schnauzer doing anything here? Yeah, I, I'll, I guess upon being asked that, she'll like sniff the air, see if she smells any blood. Aside uh, from, like you know the outside trail. Yeah, uh, outside of the outside trail, you do get strong hints of it, like there very much was uh, large of it, large amounts of it spilled here, but those that, that you can smell do not leave the area. Mm. So, like, you can see how, like, as you're smelling it, you can see, like, some is up here. Well, let's mark it. So you can, like, they need to zoom out. So, so you can, like, smell, like, large of it's here, here. Uh, here. I can't see where you're pointing. Where are you? I, I put the X on the map. Oh, okay. I was the like, X is for, I was kinda hard little, to see. Uh, okay. The little know. arrow uh, thing. Let's see. Um, I, I see him now. It says red on white. Uh, here. It, it really just needs to be a darker shade of red, I think. Because... Okay, not a lot of contrast. There you go. Which help. Yes. Yeah. So uh, you can see some anyway. air. Obviously, you see a lot, of, like a lot of blood, like here and there. So yeah, she she does she does a snifferoonie, and um, she's just like, wow, this place like it. There's like a lot of blood here. Like, I mean, just look over there. She just. Or it's the very obvious blood pool, I guess. But, like, most of it's just, like, over towards that way, and points to, like, this side of the, the room. Yeah. I imagine it's just more of, like, they all kind of, like, converge and lead out. Yeah. Uh, outside of the obvious... Uh... This is where, like, you, you get the idea, this is where people died. Uh, you can see, like, it does lead back out and kind of go outside. For those that uh, actually left. Yeah, so, like, more undead stuff. Smell like more people who, like, died and then they just walked. Going outside. Uh, I don't know, maybe they, like, left stuff behind. That could be worth checking out. Considering our location, I hesitate to say that they would leave a lot behind. Especially if all of those that are 
well, they got back up and moved are similar to the women that we encountered before. They, if they were all horrors, then, you know, we're probably not going to find much on them. I mean, like, a lot of rich people come here. Surely they had, like, some moolah on them, you know? Unless they carried it with them. They would probably still have it with them. If, it, at least if they got up and started moving. If they, if they weren't the ones that did, then they're probably on corpses if there's any left. Sure. Then takes out her, like, the kimono she picked up and just tries to see if there's, like, any pockets on it. To, like, determine, like, ah, they have pockets, the money is with them. And if there's no pockets, it's like, no, the money is here, they left it behind. Uh, there are pockets. They aren't, they aren't very deep. Um, oh, wow. How advanced. Nice. You find, like... Female, female clothing with pockets? Yeah, I know. Revolutionary, right? Yeah, exactly. No longer will the government hold us back with no pockets. Uh, no, you find... Uh, probably about, like, three pieces of gold. That... I, I wasn't expecting gold in my own clothes, but all right. Yeah, like you just find a couple pieces of gold that were left there, probably by they had had it in there on them. <laughs> but, Shit. but, Rockets. but, that's not to answer your question. Uh, a lot of the money is still here. Chuck. I mean, it's not like a monster has a use for gold. This isn't an RPG. I mean, it is. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> like, the gold is their new blood now. What? Like, they got they got the gold stuff in their blood. So now the gold is their blood. They need that blood. Gotta carry around a blood bag, you know? I'm being stupid, ignore me. Anyway, uh, <laughs> uh, I noticed that this room seems to have a lack of blood in it. So you know what? She's mm -hmm. gonna, like, just take a quick peek in there. Yeah. Inside of these two rooms, as uh, as you can see, uh, there is no actual door here. It, it is open, so it's like a more open space. You can see this is a kitchen. You ah, can s finally. All right, pantry rating. Let's go. That's fine. You you, you can see that they did have woods pack packed up for the stoves. Uh, you can see there were various small crates of dumplings and stuff, all made. There. Some are okay. There's stacks of meats that have not been cooked. There are, you see, bowls of various other foods as well scattered about. Some are still in good condition. Uh, others are probably don't want to drink that. As well as various other utensils in here. Any, and, like, food stuff that she doesn't immediately recognize, or is it all just, like, common known uh, stuff? It w w would be more common known stuff here. So, like, lots all of... Alright, so, like, she'll know what beef looks like and stuff, yeah. but, like, say she sees, like, a meat from a creature, she's, that's like, I don't know, like, like, like fucking chimera flank steak mm -hmm. or whatever. Yeah, no. Uh, <laughs> no. Most of it in here is, is more common stuff. So, like, you see rice, you see wheat, and all that stuff is all, all in here. Anything that would be out of the ordinary would be like, oh god, that's uh, that's someone's flesh. Oh joy. Or somebody's thigh's been cut. Oh, like that's oh man, there's oh, it's cross contamination. <laughs> cross contamination. <laughs> they they got my thigh next to the beef. Yeah, this that's isn't uncultured. This isn't up to the ethical code of uh, what's the. What's the organization that like rates restaurants? The, the, the health association. Yeah, 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 yeah. The health, health inspectors. I don't fucking remember. <laughs> it's, it's FDA. Okay. Yeah, yeah, it's FDA. Yeah, right, right. FDA. Okay. Um, yeah, she like looks around, and see that there's like humanoid meat mixed with like the good meat. And she's like, ah, God damn it! I was gonna make something. Ah. There. Yes. They're... Sorry guys, that's the pantry, but they put like human stuff and mixed it with like the beet meat and vegetables. It's like uh I can't make something from that. I I mean we have rations, at least I think most of us do. 
Yeah, but like that's just basic, you know. I'd I'd rather eat rations than people. I was just I meant I wanted to like make something a little nicer, you know, if we're gonna like rest here. Oh well. Maybe later. Some place that like, is more uh less nasty. I'm not certain how much of the area we're going to find isn't nasty. I mean like out Inside this, uh, the crack we're in. Cause like, everything here is just bloody. Bloody and undead. Can't make food in that kind of environment. Well, you're not wrong, but the best we would be able to do is clean it if we're going to actually make something. These drugs. <laughs> She, like, looks back to consider, like, maybe there's, like, some food that's, like, away from, like, all the flesh. There is. That's, like, salvageable. There, there is some food that has not been, uh, contaminated that you can see that's, like, was either boxed or covered up. That is, mm. that has not been touched by the various, uh, body parts being thrown in there. trying to think. No, you know what? Sasha respects food too much that, like, even close proximity is, like, probably, like, enough to, like, dissuade her <laughs> from messing with it. So, yeah. This person's foot has touched a peanut! Be gone! Yeah, it's like, oh, what's this? Do you have, like, orange-scented shampoo while you're trying to cook? Yeah, nope. Throwing your dish out. Hello? 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 My I... microphone hasn't been picking me oh. up for a while, I guess. Oh. Um, yeah. But thankfully, I, I... I wasn't actually saying anything until now. Alright, good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's Fair fine. Enough. We're good, we're good. Discord! Yeah, Nidor. Nidor? Who the oh, fuck fucking said Nidor in my mind, Nidor. 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 The anti cleric. No. Somebody did. <laughs> yeah. The anti cleric arc Nidor. Alright. Uh, Nita, I was going to say, uh, well, anything that we find here we should assume is unsafe for any type of consumption. Um, we, we don't exactly know yet how uh, the corruption stuff happens or if it's visible before it's too late. Could be through food, could be through something else. So we should really stray away from most of these things. I mean, heck, could be the L that you picked up, Sasha. Uh, the what she picked up? The L. The L? L. Oh, L. Okay. The booze. Like. <laughs> just like I thought, it's like, yeah, here's an L, you drop this, Sasha. It's like, oh. <laughs> <laughs> no. Bro, am I getting roasted? Can't, can't, can't believe Nodar is uh, surfacing. <laughs> it's no deer. <laughs> Why not? Because. The time is not the area right now. Mm -hmm. yeah. Anyway, Sasha will try to move on. You need it. You need it. Fuck. Oh <laughs> uh, yeah, which which room next? Like we have uh we have that one over there. Or like this one down here. Uh, does anyone have any hard feelings about either one? Any thoughts? Prayers, maybe? Looks over at Nidar. May Axel uh, get us out of this place uh, untainted? Uh, amen. 
<laughs> is Latin a thing in this fucking world? I don't well, think it is. I think we have Latin. <laughs> The no me patri felix. He might. <laughs> no, the, the reason I bring it up is because amen is Latin. Is. A lot of people don't re don't even know what it means. <laughs> I didn't know that. I mean, well, guess what? In the Syriac saying, it's not. There is a shit ton of languages, so who knows? There, there. Yeah. I mean, we Latin's technically Latin. have. Yeah, I mean, yeah, we technically have the Roman Empire, so maybe we have Latin. Maybe. Latin could be uh, it's celestial. Just is so Celestia in a specific Empire. language? No, 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 no. Latin has to be uh, fiendish because it's right. the language of demons. Mm -hmm, oh. mm -hmm. If you said amen to that guy, Gunita would be in. <laughs> no. Latin is the private shit language. <laughs> <laughs> Just all like clerics fucking confused as to why people say amen to their prayers. <laughs> it's like, what? Why are you bringing the feeds into this? Amen. Amen. A featherless biped? No, there's only two of them here. <laughs> it, it's it's not a man. It's it it's just men. Jeez. A. Why do you have to spin us out? Uh, because you are the two extremes in the party. Wow. It is One is wow. very short, the other is very tall. Uh wasn't isn't Quinn shorter than Nita? Maybe. I think Quinn Possibly. is shorter than Nita by one inch. <laughs> you guys That's are right. You guys do find as you do walk this way. You can see it does split. It goes this up and down. To what Looks like the rooms of people in more private quarters. Let's see. All right, left. Whoosh. All right. So what kind of yeah. carnage am I seeing right here? That looks like a lot of wood. That honestly looks like several people's worth of blood. Yes. <laughs> you see, as you walk into what looks like their, uh... It's a changing room. Of, of the, uh, select private room. You see there is some body parts that have been laid about or were just kind of left there. You see various forms of men and women's clothes that have been cut up or shattered. Or various of the clothes have been torn. Like, not torn in, in a way of like they were attacked, but they like grew out of. Hmm. But there is body parts here laying about. Is it like similar to like people being eggs for other things or does this seem like distinctly different? This is very much just slaughter. Like they were cut they were cut, stab, slash type deal. Man, it sucks to be them. Um. And just like steps over as best she can. <laughs> but I mean, if she like... like if she steps on like a foot here or there, it's like oh well, whatever. Uh, does it look like uh, the same monstrosities? No. Um, what you can see is unlike la unlike before, where you saw like various indents into the floor where it had been sl slithering. These are all feet, actual feet. Well, so there's just feet in this room. Well, there's feet indents on the floor. Oh, okay. I thought 
I thought some sick fuck just dismembered feet and then dropped <laughs> no, them no. off here. There, there, <laughs> there, there are 58 only right foots here. Oh my god. <laughs> well, we, we found Tarantino's room. <laughs> um, are they armored feet or? They're... Probably armored, it's... right? God. No, uh, a fair amount of, uh, of the body parts may have cloth on them, but there's no armor. As uh, as you do get the gist as you uh, walked in here that they are, uh, they were already de-armored by the time they'd come in here. Uh, no, I meant the the indents. Uh, no, uh, they look normal. So so you see, like all five, did just kind of like make it a print. All right, and. Could I roll a medicine on the dismembered limbs to see how they were dismembered cleanly through a blade, sheer force? What? I guidance myself, and then I medicine. Seventeen. Okay. A good, uh, oh. a, a good portion of the cuts. Um, that you do observe here in like where you're continuing to search throughout um, are both slashes like uh, like y y you can see where like a leg has been cut and you can see the end of where the claw didn't go all the way through the, the leg so you have like the leg chopped off and then like a little bit of the flesh kind of like hanging because it didn't go all the way through. Grody. And then you have uh, other cut wounds you can see were quicker, but it was w with more of a dull blade, so you can see like rust is kind of like on the edge of the limbs. Okay. Um, Neil is going to say. Mm -hmm. Well, whatever, whoever did this, they don't exactly have the strongest of blades, but it takes a lot of force to just cut, cut off a limb like this, especially with a dull blade. Um, I'm gonna wait out here. <laughs> okay. I informed my party. They now must act upon this information. Mm. Mm. Oh my god. <laughs> you know whose turn it is? No idea. Why are they playing this game here? Why, why are you even <laughs> playing it to begin with? It's a testament to someone's intelligence and skill in mm -hmm. combat. I, I don't see how combat is going to really translate to that, but I, I don't feel like this is the time or the place. Well... You see, by by looking at the game, we can see what kind of people we're playing in. Uh, oh, really? Isn't that oh. you like, go actually, <laughs> like actually unironically out of character? There actually are several psychological profiles that you. Oh, can use based off of oh, oh, I'm 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 aware of that. <laughs> yeah. But and, but just... Aurora is just just going to kind of <laughs> give him, give him a look like. Oh really? And and what does this tell you about them? Um. <laughs> they seem to uh, be very good at putting your pieces on the board in a nice manner. Mm. Ah. Definitely true. Yes. You got that. <laughs> you got that. We'll take. I, I will take the stones. Oh my <laughs> for god. My, for, for, for my for my board in case I didn't have enough. Jesus. You guys are all fucking kleptos. We'll have to play I, later. 
Why is, is it that the perfect. actual pirates in this party are the people who are doing the <laughs> Not least <Klepto's>. stealing? <laughs> well, because you guys aren't trying to steal meaningless shit. L We're listen. having fun. We're trying to live life. You guys are just trying to get rich. Uh, like, for the <laughs> sake of, like, not wasting everybody's time, I'm not stealing everything that isn't, like, nailed to the ground. Not bolted but, like, down. <laughs> believe me, I she would if it was reasonable. Well, to, to be fair, outside of Gagoon, Gagoon and them doing that, um, you can at least tell that uh, the game was not played by, like, very serious people did this was more like a you know the prostitute e was just kind of playing with the the client type deal not really like oh hey you're gonna win They're like oh no i've lost giggle type play okay I'm going to go strangle myself now that I've said that. <laughs> the cost of your hubris. <laughs> Was, uh... You get one. Every game. So what, what's over here, Sasha? You see anything? Or you, you find anything over here? Ian, I just read that you're BRB for a bit. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, we're just gonna uh, look at it ourselves. Yeah, 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 yeah that's fine, that's fine. We move it over there. Inside, you find the bodies of, um, let's see. Two men, uh, two and a half women, and a lot of clothes. Who went a half? I don't know. Just uh, like that TV show. Um, one You're is just... thinking of two and a half men. <laughs> Starring Charlie Sheen. <laughs> it comes on 5.30 on Channel 23 every day. Huh. What do you know? At least for me. Uh, uh, I say half because one is currently split in the middle. And clearly half of them is gone. Yes. Jesus. They, uh... It, it was... It has not been a great time for anybody here. You see, uh... You see stab wounds. You see cut wounds. Uh, you see similar... Similar wounds that you saw before. And I take it the bodies are on the floor, or are they on the bed? Uh, you see, uh, at least one of the w w women is on the bed. Uh, the two men are like, one's like impaled into the wall sconce here. Mm -hmm. The other half woman is uh, is kind of laid about on the ground. Half woman sounds she so has... terrible to say. I don't know how else to say that. Do, are they happen to be impaled using a spear? Or a javelin, maybe? They do. Uh, I'm going to wait for Sasha to get back for that one. Um... Yeah, so there's a few bodies in here, guys. Um, I, you guys usually do something with them, don't you? Uh, well, Nidar does, but he's, uh, looks, looks behind her. Not exactly in the room at the moment. You guys need me? Oh, there's just more corpses. Do they need to be looked at? I don't know. Gagoon, do they need to be looked at? Uh... You know, Allie has a point, though. Like, you, you, did, you do like burying them properly, but I don't know if it's important in the rip. Yeah, that's a good point. 
Uh, but th yeah, there's definitely a couple bodies in here. Uh, do you, do you maybe wanna wanna bury them? Do, would that make you feel better, or do do you wanna leave them? Well, I'd like to bury them, and since uh, we haven't yet started feeling anything weird or like that, I don't think uh, walks over trying his very best to avoid. What are these? What are these walls? Walls. Walls. It's like. It's like, uh... Paper. Damn it. I was just gonna no. walk. No, they're not paper. It's... <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> paper thin whorehouse walls. It's... It, it's... <laughs> it's thin, but it's but it still has structure to it. Uh, anyways, as Nino was saying, I'd like to bury them, and since, uh... We aren't feeling anything weird like the last shift. I think it would be safe, and we would have time to do it all. Oh, Sasha, I found you a javelin. If you want to come in and grab it. Oh um, shit! It, it is attached to a body, as you yeah, as you can uh, see. Uh oh. There, there's a man that's impaled to the wall with a javelin here. Yeah. Ah, oh, Dan, that's rough, buddy. But uh, I'm gonna like need to borrow this. It's just kind of like yeah. yanks. Yanks it. I need to borrow this, she says to the guy, referring to the implement used to murder him. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You uh, you pull it out. The body's still kind of on it. It just kind of like ah, uh, yeah. And just sh tries to shake him <laughs> off. <laughs> oh, by the way. <laughs> okay. How de how decomposed are these bodies? Um, how how far along are they? They're probably about a couple days, maybe about a week old. Okay, so are they bloating or are they past the? They have not bloated yet. Um, the one that is currently uh cut in twine, uh, is probably the most damaged one here. Oh, uh, Nidra is going to say. Well, I can do the usual of getting their heads and burying them while you guys burn the bodies. Uh, yeah. But, but they are pretty deep, so I don't want to make you guys do something just for my sake and... He doesn't say the last part that he was thinking about saying. Yeah, I mean, Allie has a point. I just, I don't know if it's, I know it's important on the island. I just don't know if it's important in the rift. Um, I could ask. Oh, yeah, that'd be great. Can you, can you do that real quick? Yeah. Is that a quick thing that you? Mm, Ten minutes. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna go and do this not in a bloody place. Yeah, like, Yudara's just, like, speaking of, like, ah, oh, let's give these guys a proper burial. It's like Sasha's just, like, trying to pry a corpse off of the <laughs> You see it dangling? You see the arms yeah. dangling? You try to like, shake it off without touching it? Yeah. You gotta remove Jesus. the javelin so you can bury it. It's true. <laughs> Hopefully, uh, she succeeds in, like, getting it, them separate, or, um, and it's not just, like, stuck, for, like, really good in there. Do we, do we ever learn what, like, overcame these kind of people? I think it had something to do with that, like, sparkly gold stuff? Um. Speaking of, do I do I even see any of that? Since those uh those like weird little little dudes that we fought. Yes, you have been seeing that uh pretty much the entire time. All right, yeah. Like uh when you were fighting the snake women, 
uh, you saw bits of it through their strands of hair and their and their their body. When when you killed the uh, Bolter, you saw as as when she had shaked uh, fallen apart into shards of ice. You saw bits of it embedded into like the shards of it. Right. Okay. Then yeah, she'll just like point to like the big blood pool and be like, "Look, go." That did it. Uh, yeah, I mean, dude, I don't know anything about that, dude. Do you, you guys, like, have you heard of anything like that before? I mean, you know, I've heard, I've heard that gold, like, gold can kill, you know, because of greed and stuff. But this seems a little, a little excessive. If a pirate gives you a look. Back to what the the, the <laughs> other pirate gives you a look. <laughs> the one wearing the pirate hat, but isn't a pirate gives you a look. <laughs> is that is that a no? I'm I'm sensing I'm sensing uh, we're trying to say something without words here. Well, you're uh, doing better than before, I guess. Then. Oh, oh, yeah. Thank you. I, you know, you got time with time with you guys has really taught me a lot. And has raised my charisma score totally not by two. <laughs> uh, so I guess uh, I'll look around to see if there's anything else of note before I start maybe wrapping up the bodies in the mm. sheet or something so that way they're easier to haul. Mm -hmm. uh, a, a majority of the stuff you do find in here is uh, more clothes. So you see like they're, you know, they're what they're wearing. You see, you know, underwear and all that stuff has all been like broken or, you know, tainted at this point. Uh, but outside of that, you see uh, just the bodies. Okay. Um... It uh, it seems like a lot of anything that they had owned or or had on them had been placed somewhere else because you know you're not gonna walk into a brothel with being wearing you know full plate. Um, yeah, yes, so you know. No. My my thoughts are that we move the bodies uh, when Nar Nadar gets back. And we just put them on like the bread, the bedspread, the bed, the bed sheet thing. Uh, and then we just carry them all at once, instead of like individually. Thoughts on that? Each of you would have to take a corner, though. You try to take a corner. <laughs> I uh, I'm I got stun locked by like someone bringing like armor into a brothel and it just reminded me of that like uh DBZ a bridge line where it's like you said you were wearing protection he's like I was wearing my armor <laughs> <laughs> yeah that's a VJ impression <laughs> beautiful <laughs> So good. Yeah. Anyway, uh, if, uh, I I hope I am done scraping the stewed off this javelin. If, if not, yeah, yeah, yeah no, he, no, you're good. It, <laughs> it, <laughs> All right. It, I was gonna say, you know what? I he's coming with it. If it, it no, be, no, it only took I'll, I'll took turn like this javelin into a flesh mace. It uh, it only took like five little shakes before it just kind of like onto the ground. All right. Uh, well, oh, yeah. uh, down he goes. Yeah, let's uh, let's just grab him. I grab him up here and just throw him on the bed. Uh, okay. Grabs. Geeks. Uh, yeah. Yeah. No, so we're just gonna pile pile the bodies on the bed, and then we can just wrap them up in the sheet, so that way they're easier to carry. Uh, to like do that uh burial thingy. Yeah. And then we, uh, I don't right. know if we need to take them out. We can just throw them in there with the sheet. Hmm. I think. Is that this? Is that disrespectful? Hey, is this a solid stone wall? Yes. 
damn. All right, I was just gonna say, hey, look. <laughs> to, well, I. To be fair, I, I was I was a hundred percent waiting for a gagoon to tell bust through this wall as Nita was standing here and go, hey, Nita, want to see a dead body? <laughs> Oh, well, I there's, to. <laughs> there, there are a lot of different ways that people can be buried. I, I know that in countries other than Dorother, uh, where uh, they also burn bodies, uh, what they do is they tend to wrap them up in cloth before they do. It really just depends on the customs of this area, and I have no idea what those customs are. So. Drugs? Yes. You didn't listen to the whole statement, sir. <laughs> You're in the other room, Nidar. You're in the other room, Nidar. I'm talking to you, <laughs> bitch. Actually, I don't know how to the the method that we do it if we can't load them up is that. How do they actually bury them, Blackheart? You have to find out. Okay. Like, you will actually have to find out. Like, that's that's not something you don't get to know. Um, he'll ask the nocturnal down. Or go to the library, the big, big castle library, to learn about that. Wait, you can just do that right now? No. Um, no, you know. can't. I thought you were just like, yeah, I'm just gonna go to the library. No, be... you are... Right now. <laughs> no. <laughs> We, we need to set up an appointment, fill up paperwork, use some influence, then we can do that. Alright, uh, yeah, so I'm ready for whenever mm -hmm. uh, Nadar is, if you guys are. Um, yeah. well, my augury, it takes ten minutes. It, it, it'll take them ten minutes to put the bodies in the thing and get ready, like, uh, yeah. Well, by the time they do that, then, Nida's question is, uh, uh, his question would be relating to the, uh, burying the bodies. And it will be, that's the action, that's the course of action. Because I think I just named a course of action within the 30 minutes. And it's either wall or wheel. Or neither. Or both. Sorry for yapping. Yapping is the name of the game. Bro! Oh. Yappers and dragons. Imagine yappers? Wait. Imagine yippers for kobolds. Hmm. Hmm. Anyway, I imagine like once Nadir is like done with their ritual, we just like exit the building with like the world's largest corpse burrito. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> uh, they, given you are in the rift, you're not, and you're not on the island. Uh, God, work. Hmm. Technically, yes. Um, you do know they do they do bury their dead in this realm, or a whoa, wheel. The one that says yes. Okay, <laughs> so bury them. Look, fucking the last time people actually used that was in these games, and I, I haven't seen that in like five years. Nida will make a good use of it, black card. Don't you worry. I'll be using it very often. Okay. Uh, Nita is going to turn back and we'll say... Yeah, bring them is good! <laughs> and then gather the... implements for this casting. Alright, we, we have all the bodies here, so that way you can just, like, lop off their heads whenever you're ready. Mm. Yeah. Oh, we're doing it there? Okay. I mean, it's probably easier. We're, we're just going to do that there, and then we're just going to haul the bodies in the sheets over okay. to, like, wherever we want to bury them. Nidar comes, grabs surgical precision tools, 
uh, cleanly cuts off the heads, unless I have to make a roll, in which case we will see mm -hmm. how cleanly he does. Uh, medicine? Or surgery supplies? Uh, it's the same thing, isn't it? Not in... No. Surgery supplies... Is, when the update it, it? does come out, it will okay. be necessary. Give me, um, surgery supplies then. Okay. Uh, the update is not out yet, so it is intelligence mm -hmm. right now only. And it not being wisdom makes me sad. Uh, I am guidance. Okay. <laughs> okay, so that's a five. Okay, that's a six. I'm debating using an inspiration, guys. But for this... I... I'm, I'm I gonna, wouldn't. I'm gonna, you have three. I I, nah, I'm, I wouldn't. Yeah, I'm not gonna either. Uh, I'm uh, Nina is just going to chuck it up. Of these corpses have been decomposing for a long while, and so working with them in a way that would keep them, you know, not disfigured or anything like that is very hard. Um. So yeah, he just. You get through the first four bodies. As you... Uh, unfortunately, you... Uh, well, the heads are off. Ish. Maybe? What do you mean, off-ish, <laughs> maybe? They're off or they're not? <laughs> Still hanging on by a thread because you fucking butchered it. But you do get through four of the bodies. As okay. you, as you get to the to the last one, which is the half person, Nidar. As you go to aim for the head, it runs away. <laughs> it gets up. You see it get. You see it. It's upright on both the leg and the arm, and it fucking bolts. I have to check. Is this a sanity thing? Or is... No. <laughs> Ev everybody sees this body literally lean up on its fucking like leg and arm as it's only a half body and start to fucking bolt out the room. How fast is it? You know how like you turn on a light in a room and you watch like the cockroaches just uh, uh... just fucking like zip? Yeah. No. <laughs> <laughs> um, I feel like this is a wisdom, a, a voluntary wisdom saving throw for Nadar against uh, sanity. <laughs> I tree. <laughs> uh, that, that's what I thought. I thought it was gonna be. You better hide. <laughs> no. <laughs> I got it set off. No, because uh, Max is not uh, forced to hydrate yet. Uh, neither is going to, like, clutch his little heart as he casts resistance on himself, trying to not lose it. <laughs> okay, he does not. He does not. He's doing really fine. He'll say both. <laughs> both Sasha, Gagoon, Quinn, and Neither. You guys all see this body. Lean up and just fucking scoot out of the room. Well, I mean, as soon as Sasha sees it, like, moving, she'll, like, try to just, like, punch it or something to be Go like, ahead. no, you stay down. Go ahead. All right, uh... Do -do. Bonk. 19. Okay. It does anyone else try to, uh, go for this thing? I... I... I think Quinn's just watching it. It's just shell shock. Like, wait, what? I, I, it's surviving. Good for it. <laughs> it's, it's, it's best. With a nineteen and ten points of bludgeon damage, you do manage to hit it, Sasha. You hit it as you break its neck. Yes, it keeps going. It's gonna keep going. Its head is dangling. Yeah, 
Its head, it's da its head is dangling as you break its neck. Uh, well, I I guess like despite punching it, breaking its neck, and it's still moving, she's just gonna like I guess let it go and just be like, "Wow, well, damn, you're sturdy." Uh, yeah. <laughs> is it, is it dead? I mean, I think it's an undead, so like, yes and no? <laughs> Guys, I'm going to be honest, nothing, nothing ever on Dolder have prepared me for this. Really? Mm, <laughs> yeah. I mean, it's kind of weird, I guess, but like... Dead bodies that I was about to cut the head off to bury them is what gets me, yes. I've seen things, I haven't seen things like this. I mean, at least it didn't like, you know, like come up and like tickle you or something. Did you... That would be really creepy. Nida would like shiver. A shiver would be sent down his spine. All right, well, let's get yeah, these yeah. bodies buried. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. It, it was just the one body. That yeah, was, yeah, right? yeah. 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 The rest are still. Yeah. It was just the one All that right. bolted. Yeah. So I, I guess she'll just be like, um, "Yeah, we should probably hurry in case like more of a move." And she's like, kind of like. She has like her hands up, ready to like kind of like <laughs> knock <laughs> knock them out if they try to try anything. Can't believe one of the bodies puts its head up and tickles Nidar. <laughs> no, you guys take out the four. Where where do you want to take it? Outside, I presume. Oh. So we can burn him, baby. Okay. Nidar is not carrying them because he's shweak. Shweak as fuck. Carries uh, them. <laughs> Quinn is <laughs> helping. Yeah, just but, right, so like really I mean, just dragging her on the ground. Nidar is carrying like three heads, and it's really hard to do okay. since he's very small. I have. Okay. Oh, I need to bury them. Are you guys going out here mm -hmm. to, like, where the garden is, or are you going like outside of the of the house? The garden. Uh, is this is this a moat? It is a moat. It oh. is it is currently frozen. It is walkable. Nida is like going to jump the fence here, and. <laughs> Dig holes in the ground and bury the heads in. Then does a prayer over them as their final rite. Dumps, dumps the thing of bodies over. It. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, not on me, no. Do you have like a, a, a place for that? I just noticed that you're just like really good at digging. Um. I mean, those don't need digging, they need burning. Oh. <laughs> no, no, not here. Oh. Not here. It, we should do it outside so it doesn't start a fire here or anything like that. Jesus Christ. Also, for the smell. Thank you, Gang. <laughs> Goes back to praying. <laughs> Well, at least they were not dumped on top of Nidar. So... Are you guys planning to burn the body outside of the house? Yeah. Yep. 
All right then. Um. Hmm. This is not good. Then. All right, you uh, do your prayers. You bury the bodies. Or you do your prayers. You burn the bodies. It, admittedly, within uh, reasonable height of fire. I hope. <laughs> You know, I would, uh, if we don't have, like, a reasonable enough of a fuel source on hand, like, already, Sasha would, like, just pour some of the ale on the bodies just to, like, get it going mm. better. Okay. <laughs> okay. And then, uh, that works. It's an accelerant. Bit of a waste, but I mean, you know. Yeah. Definitely a waste. At least they smell like apples. Boy, I sure hope I go out like that. <laughs> Smelling like apples. Uh, That's the goal. Are, do apples grow here? I think it's too cold for them to do that. Well, I mean, like, not, not like here, here, but, you know, like, on Dolater. Uh, I don't know. Nobody knows. <laughs> None of them are Dolidarian. <laughs> uh, m maybe next time we go into town, we should look for some apples. Ugh. Yeah, I think Sasha's voice is, like, killing my throat. You don't have to do it the entire time. It's fine. I, I know. Like, I mean, I... It do it, normally, it doesn't feel like it's hurting me, but, like... When I, like, pay attention, then I'm just like, oh, wait, yeah, I do feel like a little twinge, but I, it, it, I'll be fine. All right, the bodies, the bodies have been burned, so we should be good. Yeah, they're not. Uh, so, let's mm -hmm. continue exploring, I guess, unless uh, you know what? want to move on. I bet, you, you know... That, that room we were in had another side to it, didn't it? Oh, yeah. I swear to God. Rocks? <laughs> if I have what, what more bodies from here. Inside of here, you see a bunch of paint is scattered, is kind of, well, is knocked over onto the floor. But you see a canvas and an area for someone to sit. Model. Mm -hmm. What about you? Two dead bodies. Any of them half dead bodies? They're not halved. These are folds. Okay, well. Son of a bitch. Oh my god. You guys <laughs> <laughs> oh. going to conjure a magic stone and then... Throw one at each of their legs. What? All right. I've... Do they react? No, they're dead. Okay, well these ones are safe. I throw rocks at dead people. Laric. <laughs> hey, they could, they could be <laughs> undead dog. <laughs> So bad news, we have more bodies that we're gonna have to move out. I mean, maybe, you know what, maybe we should, like, round them up first in a pile in the front room before we burn them, so that way we don't have to keep going back and forth all the time to burn them, you know? What you do notice is, Nidar, one is a dragonborn, one is a furbolg. Okay. Well... Uh, head shopping jutsu. Uh, if I may. Can't be worse than last time. Can be worse, Rosanette one. 
A. Yeah, see, there you go. I'm 20. See, it's because there was a Dragonborn. Yeah, we'll uh, we'll go with that. Yeah, totally. Uh huh. Uh huh. Can't believe you're racist. Eh, no, right? <laughs> no, it's just him being a scaly. I uh, dude, I uh, dude. It... What's the difference? <laughs> Nito's trying real hard every time we find a dragonborn. Like they're trying to like. It's only been once ever. <laughs> <laughs> this is not even the best role I ever did. This just. All right, he grabs the heads, <laughs> clutching both of them, and then goes and takes them outside to bury them. I think there's more blood being trailed in the place than from Nidar than anybody else. <laughs> um, yeah, also Nidar is really regretting not having shoes right now, guys. Just avoid walking in the blood, it's not that hard. I had to do that to get to the bodies, dude. It'll it'll harden and it'll become a sealant. It's fine. I don't know. Get good or something. Real quick, is there anything special about this mirror or not really? Nope. It's uh, it's j just one of those uh, vanity mirrors. I can't believe that we checked out the big chest. <laughs> 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 here, here, here we see Sasha debate. Do I do it? Uh, like, she... No one mentioned... Yeah, yeah it's fine. She has it, no idea it's there. Yeah, it's like, fine. The place just, like, smells like blood, so... Mm. She can't tell it's there. You are per perfectly fine. Yeah, there's going to, like... Hmm, actually, this is probably ice, isn't it? Do what? This is ice, isn't it? Yes. yes yeah. This is oh, all well. ice. So, oh well. So... Can't have a wash until we go back. Not that he was gonna go have a full wash. Okay. Look, mm -hmm. Looks down, considers just breaking through the ice for just to go to swimming. I feel like that would be a bad idea. Yeah, it would be sure. I am immune to cold from the water. This is true. I don't think you would have a good time. Yeah. Hold on, you're immune from cold environment conditions if you are in water. Because they yeah, can wait, she because they like can swim looks down. down at the frozen water and just longingly is like, ah oh, man, I miss swimming. But the moment you get out of the water, that's when it gets you. Yeah. Why? Why can't you go in it? Uh, it's frozen. I mean, but that's just on the top, right? Like you can just drill a hole or something. Yeah, I mean, what are we going to make a hole with, Gagu? Uh, I mean, I have this fire sword. I'm sure, like, the fire would help melt the ice, you know, I... like, a, like, like knife in a butter. I'm, I'm going to be honest with you. I, I don't recommend shoving a something as thin as a sword in the ice it's probably going to snap I mean this bad boy is you know can hold <laughs> I mean I'd prefer tropical water over like frozen water anyway so it, it's fine oh do you have problems with, with like salt salt water that's oh, all good it's just oh. chilly Guys, can we have this conversation? <laughs> yeah. Uh, there's sure. like, uh, do... there's like three bodies being burned in the hallway. There's seven heads fucking buried. Yeah. So anyway, we would just like to go on vacation. I hear, I hear Cuba's great this time. <laughs> Why would you go to Cuba if you're gonna go to the Mediterranean? Go to like, <laughs> I don't fucking know. Somewhere not Cuba. <laughs> Gagoon, I will point out that every time we try and unsheath the blade, it does not come out. Oh, you need to attune! I, <laughs> I, I know, I've been waiting for the long rest. Well, no, no, no. no. no it, it, it's, not, it's not that. You feel something pushing it back in every time. You need to speak the command word. <laughs> <laughs> I 
don't. No, not yet. Yeah. If you give me the option to name a command word, you are yeah. fucking up. I gotta press your button, you're like, do it. I... No. I... But if I can command it, I definitely will use it. And I... I open door. Inside of door, you find a singular room. Does it look fucked up? That's a lie, there's two rooms right here, too. Mm, does this room go fucked up, Mr. DM? It, in fact, is not. Oh, <gasps> not gonna take anything from it, guys. But you do say you see a very, very well-made kimono here that is on on the stand. You see various tea tea sets have been already placed out with with tea that is still warm. You can see mm. the you, you can see the steam rolling off the water. Hmm. There were decomposing corpses, but there's also warm tea. Hmm. I'm gonna look at this tea set really closely. Okay. I'm looking at it super close right now. It is still warm. You get the faint hint of honey. Um, does the tea set itself seem magical? No. Hmm. It, it, it l l l looks like a regular old tea set that has seen a fair amount of use. Hmm. Nida is going to turn around and will say, Guys, how come there were decomposing bodies that I would, you know, say maybe around a week? But then th there's warm tea that's steaming. Drugs. You call <laughs> what do you mean drugs? I don't know, this place is weird. I mean, okay. But, but even though their things follow some sort of logic. I'm gonna be um, honest, I, I don't feel like we're in Dolodar, so I don't think logic really applies, considering, you know, we're in a rift in space-time. Yeah, but it's, some things seem to adhere to time. This is not even to time. Uh, this is not that place, no. I don't think this place is real. No, uh, neither is going to walk in deeper. What's in this view? You find uh, a si a singular bedroom. You see a vanity with various makeup, uh, various uh, what looks like hair supplies and stuff are put up on there. You see uh, hair clips and some wigs, as well as uh... no, that's no, it's. We'll see it. It's, it's just a giant vanity with makeup and stuff. Hmm. So the shit is a figment of the imagination. No, it's there. Oh, if it is, you know, we'll give it a little open up. And hopefully he doesn't find something he doesn't like in there. Mm hmm. You, you know, it's he's, he's like, gonna, he's gonna be like all the way tilted back. The tip of his fingers, like, lifting the chest open. It's just another Bloodbard monster. Get jump scared, bitch. Now, inside the chest is a smaller Aww. chest. I don't... I don't have it. Never mind. Oh, okay, well, I'm glad that he don't have it. I, uh, I didn't make that token yet for, uh, Thursday. <laughs> no, no, inside. You find, uh, a... Rather sizable footlocker with uh, clothing, uh, a fair amount of um, undergarments, and yeah, and uh, various like knickknacks, like jewelry and stuff that would be like uh, head or head ornaments and or hair ornaments and stuff like that. Hmm. You do find. Let's see here. 
Because we have jewelry. Lots of fancy jewelry. <laughs> was that, Alley was begins was, approaching. Was, like a, was that a full outfit or is that no. just armor? The, that, that is a full outfit. You, you can I, see you can see all the cloth is properly put around. You can see the bow in the back. It is a proper outfit, fully there. I check the pockets. I, I think one of you would look good in that. It looks very, I think I very would. mobile. I I don't think it will fit you, Quinn. I'm going to be honest. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I'm betting mean, that's what a tailor's for, right? I think you would look good in it too, Kikun. Uh, no, I'm not a bold no, person. Nidar, you find a hairpin. Or, n n n n not a uh, hairpin. Um, you find uh, the, s the thing that you would see people use that have, like, um, buns in the back, and they use, like, a stick to uh, hold it so it doesn't unravel. Okay. I feel like that is still called a hairpin. I feel like uh, it's pretty, something I'm, else. I'm pretty sure it is. Yeah, right. It's just a different kind of hairpin. That works. Um, uh, Nidar Fair enough. Okay. detecting Nidar detecting a valuable jewelry with the power of cobbled brain. You see <laughs> it is about uh It's too funny, sad. Sorry, go on, Wagger. No, I'm, I'm trying to remember the length of something. So I want to give the proper length here for this. You find a hairpin that is five inches in length. Okay. Mm -hmm. Of what material? The handle itself is wood. It, it, it's a nice firm wood. You can see on the on the handle of it as you as you like. If you're to hold it, like put it put in your hair. Uh, there is four uh, white flowers, making a, a, a nice little uh, showpiece. As well as you can see uh, silver uh, a silver ring. That goes down the chains that have uh, small little jewels that are of a teal color. Hmm. And the buds of the flowers on the pin look like uh, pink amber or purple amber. Hmm. All right. Uh, Nidar will reach in, pick it up very, uh, I think, gingerly is the word, trying to avoid everything else. And Do this then... real quick. Huh? You guys can all see. Oh. There you go. That's what it... It's a magic item. Looks like. Yeah, the, the moment that, that Blackheart needs to, to look up things, it's a magic item. Well, I was... I mean, I was it could uh... be a quality item. could be an ornate item for all we know. I was... Uh... Looking up like the the proper link for a dagger and stuff. So I, I I didn't know the like actual length. Hmm. Hey. Uh, Nidar is going to pick it up very gingerly. Um, it doesn't feel magical to him, does it? Not that he would know what anything magical would be because his passive mm -hmm. arcana is fucking five. Uh, he'll thinking nothing of it. Uh, he'll. Hold it up to Ellie and we'll say, Found this! <laughs> At this point, Ali is just like, I hate these kids. I hate these kids. I hate these <laughs> kids. Stop doing no, this. No, no. Shaq heard... Uh, you found jewelry, Ali. <laughs> That's exactly what happened. <laughs> the 
28. Uh? Not even a thank you from Nidar. <laughs> uh, it is of the magical nature. It does radiate, uh, not like extremely, but it's it's a very vibrant vibe. Also very pretty. Hmm? Oh, is something special about it? Other than it looks kind of expensive. Oh, oh it looks very expensive. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Axel, for telling me how expensive it is. <laughs> <laughs> you, you, God says it's your, really expensive. Your, <laughs> your, your kobold senses kick in that you're a greedy little shit, and you see expensive. <laughs> it's not my fault. I'm not a little shit. Gold sight, you say. <laughs> I actually do have gold sight, though. <laughs> he, he does. <laughs> That's why I mentioned it. <laughs> if if you do wish to take the clothes, you can. They are there. I wanted to check its pockets. Okay. Inside. Does it have pockets? If it has yes. Pockets, you take it. it does have pockets. Take that shit. It has four of them. Yo. Yo. Do you know how expensive pockets are? <laughs> no. But is there is there anything in there though? Uh, you find two on the side, and two are hidden in the chest. Ooh. Hidden pockets. Literal breast pockets. Yeah. So you can, like, hide something in there and be like, I'll kill you, as you pull out a dagger. Yeah, look, guys, I don't want to be a party pooper, but breasts are not hidden. Man. <laughs> I don't know who's the expert here. I don't think it's you, Neb. <laughs> <laughs> Breast not hidden. Okay. I'm uh. I'm just a... not trying hard enough. Uh, I mean, what you would know with all the cobalt women, right? You wow. know what's fun? Yeah. <laughs> all the all the cobalt women that you love having <laughs> having boobas, right? You love that, don't you? I no, can't believe I, I, I am a big boob cobalt I am enjoyer. Going... <laughs> he is. Stop. <laughs> Stop right now. That's going. That's that's going to the quotes channel. Uh, 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 that's that's going song. to the quotes channel. <laughs> I do Rest not want to be associated with this land. <laughs> it's it's far too late. Uh, you Stop find. It. You find a total of 50 gold. Oh, in the pockets? In the pockets. Fuck yeah. Nice. Which means they were hoarding uh, a fair amount of gold when they were doing work. Free money. It's free money. It's not. <laughs> yeah, she, she'll like just pocket it all. She's just like, see, I told you there'd be more gold. Why would there be gold on a showpiece? Probably because it's most likely not a showpiece. It's it was probably a work uniform of some kind, at least. Yeah, like um, you know, we didn't find how they exchange gold if people need a change. Maybe that's how they they, you know, they kept it there. I I can I can guarantee you that any change was handled at the front. Unless this was the room of the owner of the establishment, there would be no need for it. Uh, this would be a whore, or I suppose courtesan might be the proper term, given the quality of the dress. Uh, it, it is them getting tipped or stealing from their clients. One of the two. Right. Uh, what do you think some if, if if you were to guess what do you think a person like this would like put in a chest 
Well, they had some clothes, and they also, had sorry. that magical hairpin. Is this like a wall that blocks the vision of this? No. Just that way, I know. Okay. No, there is, there is, okay. there is, okay. there is no wall there. There is no wall, so this is like a shelf or something. Yeah, like... it is a okay, full, okay. full shelf. Okay. I'm just making sure that I can actually see this, and I'm not just talking out my. Ass. No, no. You, you can see it. You're good. Uh, if I had to guess, I would probably say something valuable. That tends to be what people put in chests. All right. Crawl, crawls over there <laughs> to, to the chest. Um, I will check to see if it's locked. Okay. It is not locked. You, uh, you do see that there that there is a lock pad that may have gone onto it is currently on the ground. Somebody beat you to it. Uh, he will slowly open it with his trunk, standing mm -hmm. back a little bit. It may be off to the side a bit in case there's like a dart in the middle. You never know. <laughs> there's actually just a dart here. Fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> it's Rory, a player. No, actually, as you uh, open the chest, you find that there's armor in it. Hmm. So you uh, 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 open the chest. It's not very big. You see a full s set of armor for the body, the legs, the hands, and a helmet are all, are all in here pl placed neatly. But there's no chest piece. Well, the 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 body is the chest. Okay, okay, okay. okay. I misunderstood that. Yeah, the 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 body is the chest. It, there's just no legs. Uh, he will lean. Gagoon will like lean over the counter. Uh, hey guys, I found a, a chest back here that has some armor in it. I don't know if this is something that we should uh, be looking at or. What kind of armor? Um, it looks like it's a just nice armor. I'm sure. Is, I'm guessing it's like a like a plate kind of, or is it specific? Is it like molded like leather? Is it cloth? It is uh, at this point in time medium armor. It's got. Okay. Uh, let's see. It's got leather around the trim. To like keep keep the plates to to together. What's the fuck? What's the word for this? I forget for this. Uh, this is I help if I actually type that full fucking word out. You know. No, I'm not trying to make weird armor. I'm just saying that's what they have. Yeah, I'm making a joke, don't worry. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Because obviously, have you seen so far? They all kind of wear armor here. Yeah, I'm just, you know, it looks very. It doesn't. It's not like a plate, but it looks to be like made with some molded leather and some other components. Uh, I don't know if it's something that we want to take and sell, or if it's something we should leave here, or. You know. Well, if if we want to make money, I can safely say that there it typically is. armor is going to sell for more than weapons are, just based off of how they're valued. Uh, you find a Lemire's grass. <laughs> yeah, no, you're fine. Uh, here. Nope, that's quotes. That that that, that doesn't go there. This. Lamar? Lamar. Yeah, it's a specific material. Yeah. But I honestly haven't looked too much at crafting because I'm 
My it is. Not built for it, so. You 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 see that it has little plates kind of around the chest and the arms and everything, but it looks comfortable. Like it. Oh, Lamellar. That's how it's pronounced. It, it looks like it was custom made to fit somebody. You can see it has a mold of what looks like it probably fit a female. Uh, again, if we want to make money by selling it, uh, we're probably going to make more money selling that than any particular weapons. Same with the outfit right there. Yeah. Um. Is that something you could you could work clean, or, or like would would like want to like have re? Fitted. I mean, maybe. Yeah, I'm refitted. I think that's the word I was. Yeah, that's a good word. It doesn't seem too bulky to make it so I can't wear it, but it's yeah, a little I'll large probably look at it. Probably. Yeah, you're getting a refit, but something I would need to do. Okay, I, mean, I think I'm, I'll I'm play curious. with the other armor. I I have a bag that I can put it in. Oh. Are you? I don't see you carrying a carrying a bag. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> pulls out her bag of holding. I don't see you carrying a bag. Everyone has the bag of holding. Oh. Yeah, no, I still have the giant ass backpack. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I know. <laughs> the non-holder of. <laughs> oh. Uh. Okay. Yeah. Um. That what, fit everything. Yeah. I put a one in there earlier and fit. Oh. And we'll just start stuffing. <laughs> Why did you get that? <laughs> uh, same time everybody else got theirs. Wait, everyone else got one? Yeah, Wait, you were. Do you guys all have a bag that you can put stuff in? You is do that, too. Is that, why, is that why I'm the only one with this giant ass backpack? <laughs> Don't, don't you have? Did you not buy one with us? It was when uh, Earlobe wasn't there. We were. Yeah, we were. No. We were. Uh, didn't we get one for him though? I'm pretty sure we did. Uh, At least we did for Sasha. I know that. Oh yeah. It, it is not on my character. <laughs> I, I did not get a back of all this A legendary oh stall. <laughs> you had. Wait, I got a back of holding. Yes, they Please, bought you a bag of holding. Oh shit! Yeah, the the session you were introduced. <laughs> the, the, right. the, the, this very first session, you were bought a bag of holding because you guys stopped and grabbed stuff. Yeah, we did shop it. Because because you were brand new and they they needed time to uh go, go between. I mean, honestly, at that point, we may as well just take this while we're at it. Eh? We will carefully. <laughs> Uh, fold up the uh, the outfit and uh, insert it into the bag of holding. Okay. Eh, who knows? Maybe we'll keep it. Yeah. Drugs. It, it does look good. Maybe that can get refitted too. <laughs> Depends on the boob size, let's be honest. I'm pretty sure you can modify that. When we'll sort of like look at you. How are those? I uh... How uh how are those uh I look at you <laughs> venoms actually have there uh, Quinn? Wait, what was the question? How are those venoms actually have there? Mm. <laughs> You're asking me for uh, Quinn's uh mm. yes uh <laughs> no. I leave. We people leave. Can't believe in the dark doesn't want to know. <laughs> yeah, right. I don't know how much longer I can go. Yeah, no, no. I'm getting mm. pretty tired. You're good. It, if you, it is like yeah, I, yeah. I uh, was gonna, I was gonna ask if you guys wanted to rest in this room. Well, uh, comfortable, but well, uh, before we do, are you guys going to check this one? Mm, we could. It's up to you guys. I'm, I'm not saying you have to. I'm just saying I'm just asking. We could probably save it for next session. Okay, honestly. that's fine. And that's what we'll call it. We will call it right here as you guys will check 
this room next time and find out other stuff that is in this brothel. Oh yeah. Fucking whorehouse. God damn it.